uh, pretty pretty interesting is um, I've been looking at different uh, brokerages and mm -hmm. Weevil has a pretty cool one where you're able to see the, let's see, it's right there, where you're able to see the position cost distribution. So as a matter of fact, Wait, can you, can you, are you gonna put that link in there so Josh can throw it up? Yeah, on the, it was either going to put it in there or I could share my screen. You could, but then you'd just be a tiny window on the stream. Oh, okay. Because you're sitting so, like next to the thing. So yeah, there goes Josh, he's got it. There you go. We're able to, and then if you right click on there, you can uh, find position cost distribution if you right click on the stock and you press display and let me know when you find a uh, GME on there. No, Josh, go, we'll first look for the GME stock. This isn't, this isn't GME. Is it? Yeah. So if you go to the yeah, right second from the bottom stocks tab, GME. you put GME and okay. And on the chart, you right click it and go down to position cost distribution and click display. Yeah. All right. So you're seeing it right now? Yes. So distribution. Yeah. So you can go from the left and to the right and you can see the added orders per price point that has been added on and which i find fairly fascinating this Actually, is, these, this, these are at different times yes at different times you could hover over the candlesticks and just see the different added shares per the distribution so positions per the cost distribution and i just find it fascinating that you know, there's information out there that I'm still finding out and it just adds on to how everything's going in the market. Absolutely, that's really cool. So I find that really cool. It's a really um, cool feature. So that's that's um, on Weevil and TD Ameritrade. That's all I know that apparently they're on there. So I just hopped on there and you don't even need Need an account in order to uh, check this stock out. So, um, you know, look into like different shit, stuff. Man. But I love these sites that just give us more information. And this is the vital information that we need in order to keep track of these stocks. It's crazy how these stocks change with this like giant pump and dump. Yeah. And see, the thing is, is that even though GME and AMC are going down, we even saw in the fidelity um, that there was way more buying pressure than there was selling pressure. You know, that just takes into account how, how much of a grip dark pools have on the whole market. So, and, and if they're still naked shorting because these guys don't care about uh, the the price to be paid and the fines that would incur from doing illegal activity. That means they just haven't been, they haven't had any litigation put against them that they say, hey, this is not even adjusted into our risk management portfolio. This is actually something that could get me into jail. Yeah, that's interesting. Average cost, closing cost. Yeah, I, I think that's interesting. It assumes that it assumes that all shares are. You always have to make sure you take it with a grain of salt too, because yeah, um, it exactly. does it does assume that all shares are owned by investors. That all float is owned by investors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think it's really cool. Definitely I something to look into. Cool. Yeah. As a as a part of your informational database, I think that's a good idea. I think that's really cool. Wow. <clears throat> Okay. I see why it captivated by the first time he's seen this. I like, <laughs> I like it. It's, pre it's presented nicely. You know what I mean? Like it's just mm -hmm. so, 
at each I price point you can next, see the added shares my next my next step is if i can scrape it i'm sure i can and then we can use it 